The Assassination of Johnny Versace. The Trial of O.J. Simpson vs. The World. American Crime Story is, quite simply, one of the best TV series of the 21st century. Two seasons in, creator of ACS and a cousin American horror story Ryan Murphy's Emmy-winning, meticulously crafted oeuvre of period piece historical drama on the biggest events of the last century, entered a crucible we at CLC refer to as the trilogy paradox. Legions of shows, it's almost an expectation at this point, are able to keep pushing out quality content for their first two years. Only to nosedive off a cliff as soon as season three episode one premieres. Season threes often hit the analogous shared wall that film trilogy conclusions do as soon as they're deprived of the easy sequel convention guideline cheat sheet and have to take the series in new, uncharted directions. Murphy's duology was blessed with the self-awareness to categorize itself as the best possible archetype in TV. Anthological series giving its actors and FX teams fresh starts and storylines each season to prevent fatigue and ensure longevity. But the task of keeping up Academy-caliber pedigree for three-plus years is nevertheless Herculean. FX research teams certainly picked the perfect setting to give it the best chances playing off hashtag me too and societal anti-politician fervor after the midst of one of biggest circuses of an election in the history of this nation in November 2020 by taking us back a few decades. The scandalous affair and impeachment of President Bill Clinton with Monica Lewinsky in 1995. Though it's the weakest ACS season, genre slash tonally confused, and mixed between a journalistic expose on humanity and scandals, hashtag me two dynamics on the world's biggest stage, and chaos of tabloids, season three, impeachment is ever gripping, proficiently acted melodrama on one of the most lurid and incomprehensible romances in U.S. history. Based on the true story that shocked the nation, American crime story impeachment wows by its historical accuracy to the clinton Lewinsky scandal. This is of little surprise, given the fact that the intern who actually lived through the events herself was signed on to be an executive producer, Monica Lewinsky, giving ML the intimate creative freedom to cherry-pick what did and didn't happen from the screenplay offers real-world perspective slash insight, and more weight gravity than your average biopic, especially one of this platform. Awards viability, pedigree, and name recognition able to revisit history without the snoozefest high school history class documentary format. The series is captivating drama, hyper-addictive television, and Corexian doomed lover romance on the biggest stage of power in the free world, Washington, D.C. politicians. Ah, did we miss having a binge-worthy TV series on the topic? since the original project that inaugurated the streaming wars alongside South Carolinian Frank Underwood was taken off the air, House of Cards. The open throne of political dramas, well, besides the crown, temptation of actors slash actresses to try their hands at re or outdoing Spacey and Wright, and divine schedule given the resurgence of sexual assault allegations by the hashtag MeToo movement and Clinton's by Hillary's failed presidential run in 2016 brewed the perfect storm for ACSI, one so powerful and timely, it succeeds just based on those levels alone. That's not even including the existential fascination of the national crisis that led to the first impeachment of a U.S. president in over 100 years drawing you in like a moth to a flame to its story told through the eyes of three women at the center of its events. Linda Tripp, Monica Lewinsky, and Paula Jones. Feldstein captures Monica Lewinsky with surgical precision beyond appearances to the youthful, spry energy, Jejin naivety, and love-struck boy craze on the ultimate level, a truly special casting and performance, telling us the story-slash-side of one of politics' biggest pop culture figures. Annalie Ashford is a sleeper pick who subversively ensorcels us with her Arkansas farm slash church girl charm as well, and the series packs considerable exposition on weighty themes of feminism, women friendships, print journalism vs online gossip, and hashtag me too.
nomination and accolades is the duology of performances at the heart of the series. Paulson's Linda Tripp and Feldstein's Monica Lewinsky. Exceeds yet another showcase of why Sarah Paulson might just be the best, if not easily top five, actress in the world right now. Her performance, aided by unbelievable prosthetics and VFX work, to make such a vastly divergent, pudgier archetype of her look plausibly realistic. Give FX the Emmy right now as the demoted, pushed over, grudge holding, wrenchingly humiliated, discarded public civil servant effed over by her job carries the entire TV series. Beanie Feldstein has quickly risen to the top of young actress lists of Rezensi as well. A feminized Jonah Hill of impressive thespian ability and range for her age we said to watch out for back in 2017's Lady Bird and 2019's Booksmart it's refreshing to see get singular exposition worthy of her talents. Feldstein captures Monica Lewinsky with surgical precision beyond appearances to the youthful, spry energy, judge naivety, and love-struck boy craze on the ultimate level. A truly special casting and performance telling us the story-slash-side of one of politics' biggest pop culture figures. Annalie Ashford is a sleeper pick who subversively ensorcels us with her Arkansas farm-slash-churchgirl charm as well, and the series packs considerable exposition on weighty themes of feminism, women friendships, print journalism vs. online gossip, and pound me too. Journalism on every side of its chosen topic, showing the possible exploitability and blind spots in the overall praiseworthy, Pound Me Too movement, too. Obviously, anyone who committed sexual crimes or harassment of any kind whatsoever deserves to be punished and their victims to receive justice. But there have to be checkpoints to prove their validity. And we must remember the foundations of what this country's legal system was built on. People must be presumed innocent until proven guilty. There needs to be corroboratory evidence as there would be in any legal case from murder to extortion to trafficking these crimes shouldn't be considered less than, and some kind of statute of limitations enforced, it being immoral and movement conflicting denigrating to capitalize on the immediate gains of a situation like Kathleen did by happily taking Linda's prestigious job at the White House she would have never gotten otherwise after her soiree with Clinton, only two years later, after enjoying it and ruining lives like Linda's get to eat the cake too, and conveniently report it after she's done playing with the toy. A crime story impeachment also packs exposition on how there can sometimes be ulterior motives of personal gain to cases in the movement. For example, Paula's being pushed so hard in hopes of publicity capitalization and landing a career TV role for her husband. Finally, there's discourse on the fact that entanglements like Lewinsky's take two to tango. Bill Clinton was a repugnant scumbag and proven womanizer, with a massive preponderance of sexual assault harassment allegations against him, which it was scary the 90s public comprehensively overlooked to elect him not only once, but twice to the highest office of the free world, much like our world did to Donald Trump, showing we still has a long way to go to correct societal misogyny, but Monica wasn't forced to do anything. She, and Hillary for constantly enabling and likely helping silence previous accusers, played a big role in this whole thing too, and shouldn't be absolved of responsibility and slash or complicity after the fact, as the show elucidates. Simply refusing to bow down to a public opinion, preventing it from doing proper journalism on every side of its chosen topic, showing the possible exploitability and blind spots in the overall praiseworthy, pound me too movement too. Obviously, anyone who committed sexual crimes or harassment of any kind whatsoever deserves to be punished and their victims to receive justice, but there have to be checkpoints to prove their validity, and we must remember the foundations of what this country's legal system was built on. People must be presumed innocent until proven guilty. There needs to be corroboratory evidence, as there would be in any legal case from murder to extortion to trafficking these crimes shouldn't be considered less than and some kind of statute of limitations enforced, it being immoral and movement conflicting denigrating to capitalize on the immediate gains of a situation like Kathleen did by happily taking Linda's prestigious job at the White House she would have never gotten otherwise after her soiree with Clinton, only two years later, after enjoying it and ruining lives like Linda's, get to eat the cake too and conveniently report it after she's done playing with the toy. 
A crime story impeachment also packs exposition on how there can sometimes be ulterior motives of personal gain to cases in the movement. For example, Paul is being pushed so hard in hopes of publicity capitalization and landing a career TV role for her husband. Finally, there's discourse on the fact that entanglements like Lewinsky's take two to tango. Bill Clinton was a repugnant scumbag and proven womanizer with a massive preponderance of sexual assault harassment allegations against him, which it was scary the 90s public comprehensively overlooked to elect him not only once, but twice to the highest office of the free world, much like our world did to Donald Trump, showing we still has a long way to go to correct societal misogyny. But Monica wasn't forced to do anything. She, and Hillary for constantly enabling and likely helping silence previous accusers, played a big role in this whole thing too, and shouldn't be absolved of responsibility and slash or complicity after the fact, as the show elucidates. Beyond this balanced and journalistically complete piece on hashtag MeToo, there is also capricious exposition on themes like print journalism vs online gossip. Even in the Nessian internet age of the 1990s, through the Drudge Report, Flaws in American crime story impeachment are certainly ever-present. Foremost, the writing and craftsmanship are not nearly as strong as they were the previous two seasons. This is partly to be expected given the masterpiece ramifications of Taug and T.P. Voss, but it's still heartbreaking to see, on such a worthy topic, a falling grace exhibition of comparative laziness. Clive Owen is a strikingly miscast Bill Clinton as well, the only major faux pas of the otherwise stellar cast but an extreme flaw by his critical importance in the narrative and overly serious, non-lookalike, weekly thespian performance. Finally, the cinematography is markedly weaker, and the plot structure jumping around between timeframes like Mexican jumping beans is pointlessly contrived slash convoluted. It worked for a biopic drama on a figure as creative and avant-garde as Gianni Versace, but makes no sense in a landscape as cold, realistic, and calculating as Washington, D.C. politics. Even despite all of these major flaws, we still thoroughly enjoyed American Crime Story impeachment, possibly because of the reality TV mental handicap of mankind getting easily lost in such lurid romances that feel wrong, hot, and juicy to witness unfold in real time. This boasting it with a higher drama chassis as a better alternative to the same fix, but definitely because of the critical importance of its themes brought to life by unfailable performances. Though it's the weakest American crime story season, genre slash tonally confused, and mixed between a journalistic expose on humanity in scandals, Haystag Me 2 dynamics on the world's biggest stage, and chaos of tabloids, season 3. Impeachment is ever-gripping, proficiently acted melodrama on one of the most lurid and incomprehensible romances in history. Official CLC score, 7.6 out of 10. If you like this review, subscribe to our channel for more of the most in-depth cinematic analyses in the world on film, TV, and gaming. Welcome to the club.